Alright guys, I'm coming back from my uh, dumpster dive. I had, oh, let's see, one, two, three, I think four spots. Um, first two, pretty much a bust. Actually, the very first one was nothing. I mean, literally, there was like some, what looked like uh, pallets maybe that were broken up uh, in one of the, the bins. And then in the other one was uh, just absolutely nothing. So I don't know, I guess it was garbage day today or something, I don't know. Um, then the second one, pretty much nothing, I think it was just garbage. There wasn't too much in there, I didn't really want to root through it. Um, actually, no, I'm sorry. The, um, it was just it looked like just regular garbage, so I'm, I'm on that second spot, I'm not sure if I'm actually hitting the right, uh, the right bin or not. There's a bunch of bins, it's, it's in a strip mall. I don't know, I can't, I can't really tell if that's the right bin or not, so I'll have to check a couple different ones, maybe. Uh, but there, right next to that one I was looking at, there was a, another bin that was locked. There was a lock on it, so I'm thinking maybe... Um, maybe that one's the one and they just have it locked up, which would make sense, I guess. Uh, and then uh, the next two, which I actually had a good feeling about... Uh, from the other night, which they didn't have anything the other night, but just kind of the location uh, and where they were located at, I, I just kind of had a good feeling. I got a couple things, or I got one thing from the one bin, uh, just a bag full of stuff. There looked like there's a DS case in there, and uh, I couldn't really see what else was in there. Uh, and then the last place I went to, I found a box full of uh, look like posters, or kind of like display posters, kind of that harder. Uh, almost cardboard stock paper, or I guess cardboard, I should say, not really paper. Um, so I did see a Stick of Truth uh, poster or something in there, and then uh, there's a bunch of just other, there's like a little smaller sign, I think it was just for like, you know, 50% off, whatever, something like that. So I grabbed that whole box, so there's a bunch of stuff in there. So I'll be going home, I'm actually heading home now. Not sure if I'm gonna go through it tonight. It's pretty late, so uh, almost 11:30, um, and I gotta get up early in the morning. So, but we'll see. Maybe I'll, I'll do a quick uh, run through of what I got, and then uh, we'll go from there. I don't know. You probably can't see it from here. It's kind of dark what I got back there. But all right, see you in a little bit. All right, everybody. I am back from my third dumpster dive, although this is probably going to be only my second video. Um, like I stated earlier, that second night that I went out, I found absolutely nothing. So uh, these boxes over here, the PS Vita box, and then this is the uh, Yoshi's Island, Yoshi's New Island uh, display. That's what I found that very first night. And then uh, this is my haul right here for uh, tonight. This box has got some promotional stuff. And then this bag. Uh, probably just going to show off this box for now. And then I'm going to go through the bag and um, kind of just clean it up. Get get on. It looks like there's some, you know, like some Red Bull cans and some other some other actual garbage in there. So I just want to kind of, whatever I find, I just want to kind of clean it up. So let's go through this box right now. Actually, one of the places I stopped, one of the first places, uh, there was another, kind of a bigger box than this, and I don't, I don't know why, just for some reason I didn't grab it, it was, it was stupid. Well, here we go. GameStop, refund, your refund. Savings, deals, and prizes. Well, just kind of a trade thing. 40% extra in-store credit for Power Rewards Pro Members. When you trade any games or accessories toward these select games. Yeah, that's alright, I guess. Not sure if anybody will ever actually want that, but... Put that over here. Oh, this is nice. Actually, this is one of the reasons I grabbed this. Uh, this box. South Park Stick of Truth. Little uh, promotional poster. Sorry about the light over here. I want to floor some lights in the garage. Um, 
I think it's starting to go out, so it's kind of flickering. So this is kind of good uh, cardboard. Actually, this looks like it's just a PC version. That's all I see on there. There's no PS3 or uh, Xbox 360 on there. Let's see what else we got in here. For you PC gamers, the EV GA GeForce GTX 760 promotional box. side. It just kind of has the specs. That's interesting. I've never seen that in any of the videos, but I guess it's really not something you normally would want to get, I suppose. Another little Save being on pre-owned tablets. I, I, always, I keep forgetting that they have tablets now, too. I actually saw... I think it's where I picked up this... This bag, actually. And there was another bin off to the side that had these huge... Um, Samsung... Or I'm probably, I'm assuming, a tablet or phone... Uh, posters. Uh, that's nothing. That's just a cardboard. It looks like that's it for that box. So no, that was pretty decent, I guess. Uh, the best thing in there was that um, South Park Stick of Truth. The other things, eh, they're okay, I guess. But, uh, so yeah, like I said, I'm going to go through this bag. And then afterwards, I'll uh, show everybody... Uh, what was in it. Alright, see you in a second. Alright guys, I'm back. I cleaned out that bag and uh, some decent stuff. Mostly um, um, video game box display covers. So like you can see here, there's some Titanfall ones there. There's a bunch of those. Plants vs. Zombies, Garden Warfare. This one actually, this is Connect Training. But then, and then there's Tiger Woods PGA 14. And then there's a bunch of uh, movie ones. So there's Iron Man 3, World War Z, and then one of these other ones had like Oblivion and Star Trek. So. No, well, pretty good condition. Some of these got some water damage. Actually, these ones do. I didn't notice that before. Those ones are okay. So I'm gonna toss these. Oh, here we go. Let's see. There's GI Joe. Star Trek Into Darkness. There's one for Oblivion. There we go. Tom Cruise, and then just or uh, Dead Central three, and oh, there's more Titanfall ones. There's a Just Dance one in there too. A few game cases, nothing spectacular. Build a Bear, Workshop, the Smurfs, or the Snurfs, as my son likes to say, and Little's Pet Shop. Those are all just just boxes. No games, unfortunately, or fortunately, I guess. There's uh, some more display boxes, one for Watch Dogs, which actually kind of is pretty cool. Drive Club, these must be like for pre-orders that they had. Man of Spider-Man 2. Extreme Legends 8, Dynasty Warriors. That one's... People talk about Call of Duty, but that one's been going on for quite a while, too. And if I can get this out of here. And then... Infamous Second Son. Then I got some sports ones. NBA, NBA, excuse me, NBA 2K13. Those are just those ones. 
Got one for uh, Diablo Reaper or Souls. And Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. And my old friend Yoshi's New Island. There's a bunch of those. And then these were just cards. They must have came from, actually, they must have came from this My Sims Racing. That's actually a booklet, an instruction booklet. These are just cards for My Sims Agents and Bash Party. Boom Blocks Bash Party. <coughs> Excuse me. And then there's these two boxes, display boxes, for Diablo Reaper of Souls. This is the expansion pack. Um, I don't think that's come out yet, but maybe. That's about it. That's it, actually. I shouldn't say that's about it. That is it. Oh, actually. And then these uh, GameStop gift cards, trading score, store credits. I'll probably check them out. I think it was uh, OK for Chief or OK Chief 420. He said he uh, he usually tries to check them out, or he suggested checking them out. You know, there might be like a dollar or two maybe on them, if anything. If you know, if there's nothing, there's nothing. But you know, a buck or two here and there. You know, those will add up. So it's actually a good idea to check those. I think you could probably check them online, or maybe you might have to call. It's usually just an automated thing. So, not too bad for my third time out. No games or anything like that, but like I said, on that one, in that one bin, I kind of screwed up. I should. There was another promotional box kind of like that one over there, but it was like probably twice the thickness, maybe three times the thickness, with a bunch of stuff in it. And I, I don't know. I don't know why I just left it for some reason. I had already been there for a little bit, so I didn't want to push my luck. Not that anyone would have found me, because, you know, the store is closed, but... There's other businesses open in the area, so... I just don't want to have to deal with people. Hassle of people bothering me. So, yeah. That is... The GameStop Rescue number three. No, no really cool displays like I got over here, but... Still, not too bad. So I will see you guys next time. Please subscribe to the channel. Hopefully I'll have some more uh, some more videos coming up soon. I think I might go out again in a couple days. I probably won't go out tomorrow. But I'll go I'll go by uh, I'll go out in a couple days and uh, see if I can find anything. I think somebody had mentioned that like I don't remember who it was. It might have been OK Chief again, or maybe Kamikaze. Uh, a good good days to go, or the day before and after the release of games. So Tuesday's usually release day for most games, most major games, anyways. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, I can find some interesting or some more things. Like I said it was better than a couple days ago when I went, and I found absolutely nothing. So. So, once, so like I said, please subscribe if you like. Give me the uh, thumbs up. If you didn't like, you know what to do. Thumbs down. But hopefully you liked it. All right, guys. I will see you next time. I'm going to bed now.